Has it really been 10 years since I've been in design school? I started design school 13 years ago. Back in my day, we used to have to take our own photos. But now, thankfully, there's a lot of different websites out there where you can either subscribe and actually pay for stock imagery, or in the case of this video, we're gonna be looking at three different free sites for stock photos and actually video and I think a little bit of music and illustration as well. First up is Unsplash. I've used Unsplash quite a bit actually. Any photos I think that you guys see within my tutorials on the channel or videos came from Unsplash. Now the first page you come to here, you can search and most of these actually look the same. You can search here or search at the top for any sort of uh, category of images or type of images that you want. They have thousands upon thousands of images uh, to sift through. You can also go up here to explore and kind of explore some of the different backgrounds or wallpapers, et cetera. So there's a lot of categorization going on here. And of course, one thing we need to look at on all of these sites are the licenses. So I can click those three dots and find license down here, and it's gonna take me to the Unsplash licensing section on the site. Now here, it's gonna talk about how all the photos can be downloaded and used for free, commercial and non-commercial usage. No permission is needed, although I know on Unsplash they ask you a lot to uh, give a little attribution, which is, you know, where you can, you know, say the photo is by Jeremy Bishop on Unsplash or something like that. I tried to do that in the description of my videos, sometimes even on top of my videos, and sometimes I forget. But hey, if you're able to, it's, you know, I think they, they like when you do that. What's not permitted, the photos can't be sold without any modification, or in this case, significant modification, and compiling photos from Unsplash to basically sell or like replicate the service on another site, even if you're giving them away for free and you're doing the same thing that Unsplash does, can't do that either. Make sure you read through all these terms and conditions and the licenses, but those are basically the bullet points for Unsplash. Tons of photos though, I mean, if I just type in trees, I'm gonna find tons of different versions of tree and also there's tags with these so you can do trees and then also you know sky is related there's collections of these different things we're going to go back to uh, trees for a second and take a look at the different collections that people have created so this is pretty cool basically um, here's where you have some tags like hd forest wallpapers you know you click on that and suddenly you have all these different wallpapers, uh, both vertical, horizontal, just, just so many different things. And a lot of these are really high res and they're all free to use, which is pretty amazing. All right, moving on, we have Pexels. Now Pexels, I knew first because it was one of the only sites to come out that would allow you to have um, copyright free video. You know, I'd look around and maybe, for instance, there's a little piece here where it's got some uh, uh, some old school like VHS or not even VHS, some old school reel type of effects. So you could use something like that within your video work. Um, or even I remember grabbing some things from here that had some cool background imagery like sparkly effects and different waveforms and stuff like that. But it's also an image site as well. So you can do the exact same thing here, right? I could type in trees and find a bunch of similar type of photography. In some cases, I don't know for the creators or the photographers if they're only stuck on that one website. So for instance, some of these trees are obviously gonna look familiar or similar. So maybe there's some crossover in photos from the creators uploading to these different sites. But for the most part, you're gonna find a lot of different variety. 10,000 photos tagged with trees. That's a ton. Now, like I said before, you can go up to the Explore tab and actually, if you scroll down, you have free videos as well. So Pexels has uh, images and videos here. And then the last thing is we can click on the license and we can say, what is allowed? Well, all the photos and videos are free to use, attribution not required, but giving credit is always appreciated. Once again, we heard that before. You can modify the photos and videos and be creative and edit them as you like. Now here they say what's not allowed. Identifiable people may not appear in a bad light or in an offensive way. So if it's a subject, right, and it's a person, they don't want you taking that and, and being sort of offensive with whatever you're creating. Also, you can't sell them. We've heard that before. Don't imply endorsement of your product with the people or brands in the imagery. So you can't like take something and crop it together or put it in a certain way where you like put, put let's say you sell a phone. You can't 
act like that person is endorsing the phone by like photoshopping the phone into the image and, and, and like, you know what I mean? Like making it seem like that. Uh, and then also don't redistribute or sell the photos on other stock photo or wallpaper platforms. So same kind of thing as Unsplash. Um, but I thought in this case, you know, making sure that you don't use it in any offensive way or showing people in a bad light was kind of a unique one for Pexels. But Pexels definitely same thing. I mean, when we go to the Explore tab and we go to the free videos, this is a drop down. I keep clicking it, but I don't want to do that. All right, we got free videos. I like. I see ocean right there. So if I just do ocean, I'm going to get a ton of different videos of like ocean waves, whether they're coming at me or aerial, you know, if you need like some cool aerial shots just to plug into your videos, this is a pretty great place to pull something really crisp and clean like this from it. Uh, so I think Pexels, it's a pretty good site. It's one I go to, or I always think of first when it comes to video. Now the last one, I didn't even realize this one existed, but Pixabay has millions, or I guess almost 2 million, high quality stock images. We can do the same thing. I like just I like just clicking through and typing in and searching the same thing for each one of these, but trees, right? We got a bunch of tree images again. Also though, when I looked at the Explore tab, the media that they have, they have photos, they have illustrations, they have vectors, they have video again, and they also have music. Now I need to get into, there's gonna be a lot of licensing things around each one of these. In particular, when you go from like graphic assets, like photos and illustrations to uh, videos and then to music. And I'm not sure what all the licensing licenses are here, but if you go to explore and of course find the terms once again, uh, and then actually I'm going to click on license right there. It does uh, tell you that all content on Pixabay can be free for commercial and non-commercial use cross print digital, except in cases mentioned when it says, uh, what is not allowed, you know, it's free to use wherever, but if it falls into the, what is not allowed section, obviously it's not free to use. If that makes sense, attribution, not required, but always appreciated and then you can make modifications. So they're just giving you that power. Now, all of these come with longer form licensing information. So if you're really using it for commercial uh, use, you need to make sure that you do fall under, you know, all these different terms, et cetera, within the license. But these are sort of those basic bullet points. So if you're like me and you're just looking for something, you know, and you fall within these, you're probably okay. And uh, you're even if, especially if you're not using it commercially, but once again, what's not allowed, don't redistribute or sell someone's imagery. Don't sell unaltered copies of an image. So you can't just sell an exact copy of a stock photo as a poster print or on a physical product, which I think is the same for all three of these. So you can't just take the forest image and then go to a place like Society6, Redbubble, things like that, and just slap that on products and say, hey, here it is, this is my stuff, and sell products with the forest image on it. Can't do that. But if you make some level of alterations where there's a lot of modifications, then maybe you can do some of that. Um, but also don't portray identifiable people in a bad light. Heard that before from Pexels. And then uh, same thing with using the images uh, with identifiable brands to create misleading association, etc. Basically, don't mislead people, don't show people in a bad light, don't sell unaltered copies of these images. However, if you want to use them in your designs, if you want to just create projects and you need something, you need like a, a good photo of a subject of like a female or a male or like kids or like a family at eating dinner at a table or something, or you need some sort of background imagery, or you need some video and like some drone shots, you can use all of that stuff from these websites and it's all free. I don't know how much of this existed 10 to 15 years ago when I was in school looking for this kind of stuff, but it does now. So I wanted to make a video for you guys to show you a couple websites you guys can go to for free stock 
imagery. That's it for this video. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one on the channel. And also, I created a couple new channels. So if you're looking for tutorials on specific programs, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, InDesign, that kind of stuff, check the links in the description. Go subscribe to those channels. That's where you're going to find all the tutorials from myself. And on this one, of course, we're going to be still talking about design, still talking about creative stuff. And I'm going to be helping you guys along as you're learning, as I'm learning, and as we're all just creating together. I think I've rambled on long enough. Appreciate you guys. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you next time.